In the coastal city of Wollongong, New South Wales, a young and determined athlete was destined to make his mark on the world. Alexander Volkanovsky, born September 29, 1988, possessed a relentless drive and an unyielding spirit that would shape his path toward greatness. Been looking like this since I, you know, since a young age. Like, yeah, obviously you're gonna. Yeah, I'm not the type to, to brag that you know, get into fights and all that sort of stuff. From an early age, Volkanovski showcased his athletic prowess, excelling in the demanding realm of Greco-Roman wrestling. National titles came his way at the tender age of 12, a testament to his exceptional skills and unwavering dedication. However, Volkanovski's talents were not confined to the wrestling mat alone. He ventured into the realm of rugby league, where he proved himself as a formidable force as a front rower. In a pivotal moment at the age of 23, Volkanovski made the audacious decision to leave rugby behind and embark on a new path that would lead him to the electrifying world of mixed martial arts. Under the guidance of coach Joe Lopez. Is anybody in the gym to come along? We had a few other gyms. All right, go get your gear, guys. As I'm gloving my guy up, the other trainer threw Alex into the cage with, with his heavy weight, and I ran down to try and stop it, but that already started, and within a minute, Alex had submitted this guy. Come back with a hook and then across, yeah? Volkanovski began his journey toward mastering the art of combat. With a focus on counter-striking, he honed his skills and unleashed the power of his overhand right, but it didn't stop there. Volkanovski's wrestling prowess added depth to his repertoire, ensuring that he was a force to be reckoned with in the octagon. So it's just an unreal thing that we've got going here, and I just can't wait to keep showing the world my improvements. With City Kickboxing, Volkanovski would soar to new heights. Starting as an amateur middleweight fighter, he shed weight and emerged as a force in the welterweight and lightweight divisions, gaining him recognition and respect within the MMA community. A really nice crisp left hook. Does. Oh! Over! Over! He's oh! is knocked out! Oh, His path to greatness took him across various MMA organizations in the Oceania region and Asia from 2012 to 2016. He claimed the prestigious Pacific Extreme Combat title and secured two featherweight titles in the Australian Fighting Championship. November 2016, the stage was set for Alexander the Great Volkanovsky's entrance into the grandest fighting organization of them all, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Volkanovsky embarked on an awe-inspiring 11-fight win streak, opponent after opponent, fell beneath the might of his fists. After a particularly impressive victory at UFC Fight Night 101, where he unleashed a second round TKO on Yusuke Kasuya. Strength of Kasuya's ground game. So you may need to bail on this submission attack. That's gonna do it, Alexander Volkanovsky. He announced his decision to drop a weight division, moving from lightweight to featherweight. I wasn't happy just to make the UFC. I want to hit these top ranks. I'm going to shoot through whoever they want me, but I'm, it's obvious I'm, I'm a five foot five and the smallest lightweight in the division, smallest featherweight in the division. A bold move that captured the attention of fans worldwide. After an unfortunate injury derailed the showdown with Michael Quinones, Volkanovski returned with a vengeance. Displaying calculated destruction, he dominated Mizuto Hirota. He's doing very well with his counter strikes. Huge opportunity, but he misses it. At UFC Fight Night 110, earning a unanimous decision victory. Opponent changes continued to plague Volkanovski, but he remained undeterred. He triumphed over Shane Young in a catchweight bout, showcasing his dominance. Yeah, definitely uh, it was a risk because I know it happened, but you know, a lot of people weren't going to give him a chance, you know, because it's his debut. They don't... I thought I'd work control it and, you know, I wanted to get the finish. 
Redemption came against Jeremy Kennedy at UFC 221 as Volkanovski unleashed a torrent of strikes, securing a technical knockout win. Look, I, I believe I can just finish uh, anyone in the, in the division. Well, this one I was prepared, I was actually thinking that he might take me down a couple of times. So you always prepare for the worst. A collision of titans with Darren Elkins at UFC Fight Night 133. Big right hand, oh, Elkins is down! This might be Volkanovski, it. looking to finish it! Herzog standing by, giving Elkins every benefit of the doubt! Where's the horn? They go to the ground! Resulted in another decisive victory. Volkanovski's control and power left no doubt about his superiority. He then faced Chad Mendez. By Volkanovski. It's also the, 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 the out there, because Mendez can finish these fights at any time he's gotten. Volkanovski down! It started with the right hand, and now we're going to see Mendez have comfort. Volkanovski with an incredible pace here, too. Mendes. He's just putting a lot of pressure on Mendez. Rip oh. to the body, drops Mendes, him! That's, that's it! it. That's it. Alexander wow. the Great wow. has arrived! A huge wow. fight. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, one of, I'm one of the most dangerous guys in this division. I can go with all the powerful ones, I can go with the jiu-jitsu guys, I can go with the stand-up guys. I'm one of the most well-rounded. I put Destiny awaited Volkanovski in the form of Jose Aldo at UFC 237. With surgical precision and a masterful game plan, he secured a unanimous decision victory, ascending to the apex of his craft. In the featherweight division, Alexander Volkanovski's path was one of triumph, resilience, and unwavering determination. At UFC 245. This weight class only pro loss. Stakes were high as they battled for the prestigious UFC featherweight belt. D45 for the winner and new featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovski. Volkanovski emerged victorious securing a unanimous decision and etching his name in the annals of MMA history. At UFC 251, Volkanovski defended his title in a thrilling rematch against Holloway. This time, the outcome was not without controversy. UFC 266, Volkanovski and Ortega. It has made himself a star. The fight culminated in a resounding unanimous decision victory for Volkanovski. Decision! And still the undisputed UFC. Yeah, so I'll just like keep going. So it was never an option. It was either his arms are going to gas out or I, or I die. Like literally, <laughs> that's a... His relentless assault. In terms of the outfighting, Paul, right? The leg kicks, you know? Oh, oh he stung him with that left hand. Saw him drop Young multiple times, ultimately sealing the victory with a fourth round TKO. TKO! And still the undisputed! The highly anticipated trilogy bout between Volkanovski and Holloway finally materialized at UFC 276. Volkanovski emerged as the unequivocal victor. Hey, Nate, I want to say something. Everyone back home, everyone, I don't care if you love me or hate me, stand up for yourself. People be trying to bring me down, I stood up and look at me now, no one can bring me down anymore. Stand up for yourself. Islam Makashev dominated Charles Oliveira to become the UFC lightweight champion. His first move as champion? Calling out Alexander Volkanovsky. Alexander Volkanovsky. I didn't see this short guy, bring him here. Volkanovsky, as you know by now, is not one to back down from a challenge. He entered the octagon, and the two stared each other down. The whole world knew that the fight would be nothing short of legendary. UFC 284 arrived, with the main event everyone was waiting for. Volkanovsky versus Makashev. It's clean. Well, the efficiency in every realm of the game, Michael, is yeah. exceptional, right? Correct. 53%. Islam went against his usual brand of fighting, spending most of the fight on his feet. The two proceeded to beat the ever-living daylights out of each other for five rounds. By unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC. 
Volkanovsky showed that even moving up in weight at 155 pounds, he was not to be messed with, and his career is far from over. So, it's because I knew how good their team was, I knew how good Islam was. He is as good as you were saying. I just told you I'm the right man for the job. You could see I can get the job done, but I pulled up short tonight. Congrats to Islam. Great. Volkanovsky said after the fight, you challenge yourself like this, and it only makes you stronger. Do you think Volkanovsky could beat Makashev in a rematch? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.